Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm excited to be in Batrun, which is an ancient city on the coast of Lebanon. It dates back to the 14th century BC, but it's been in, even been inhabited since before that. And at, at its peak time, it was one of the most important Phoenician seaports. We're gonna do a mix of different things, starting with a winery. We're gonna go into the mountains of Batrun. We're gonna go to a winery because Batrun is known for their wine. And then later on this afternoon, we will go for a full Batrun seafood meal on the water, maybe in in the water, uh, but right along the sea. It's gonna be an amazing day. I'm gonna share this entire experience, all the food with you in this video. This area is known to have some of the best wine in Lebanon, wine country, and I'm sure there's gonna be some food as well. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Too. Welcome. Thank you. It's beautiful up here. The sweeping views of the rolling hills. It's green, but it's not. It's not lush. It's kind of a dry climate here. So we're just stepping inside of the winery here, where he makes the wine. When did you start it? I started two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. The wine used to be done in uh, the garage of the house, which is down the ah, hill. Okay. Eighty percent of the wine are still stuck there. Okay. We just moved our biggest tanks last year okay and this year all the tanks are coming uh, here uh -huh. all right uh, yeah so it's been one year operational here okay. inside we're getting a first glimpse at the food the brunch that they've prepared for us that is beautiful vibrant colorful it looks so incredibly refreshing so many vegetables oh man that looks good and then well, i think we'll bring this outside to the table outside too Okay. <laughs> well, he's growing some vegetables as well right now, spring onions and zucchini. And immediately as those go on the grill, you could just hear them hissing the aroma immediately coming off that smoke from those green onions. So that smells wonderful. And he's also gonna make the awarma with the eggs in that terracotta pan over the fire as well. So I have, uh, I make abayde, I make merweh. As you can see, I don't watch him now. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Welcome Thank to Lebanon. Thank you so much. Thank Welcome you. to Set. It's so smooth. It's so fruity. Not sweet, but not dry. Just, it's extraordinary. It's so, yeah, it's fully organic. You don't taste any additives. Like, it's so easy sipping. You could just... Smell this. Yes. I've already like come to realize that one of the greatest things in Lebanon is the awarma, the salted, preserved, confit, preserved lamb. There you go. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> not very healthy, but very good. Okay, so. so actually it's not gonna be a plate, it's gonna be digging. Yeah, sure. Okay? Sure. And uh, please take take this and taste it too. When, uh, you wanna taste? Like, you know, immediately, you get a an aroma of that lamb before you even taste the eggs. Mm. Oh yeah, the bread is genius. Like, it soaks up some of the yolk. That gives it some body. The lamb. What I love the most is how it's runny. Yeah. This is my signature. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can tap. Zucchini and Sorry. carrots uh, with a bit of honey and fennel in there. Mm. Oh yeah, it's amazing. You taste the flavor of the fennel, the sweet carrots, the honey, and it all just kind of like melts down in your mouth. It's superb. Uh, Okay. They're so natural, they're so fresh, like it, they almost have a taste of honey when you bite down on them. It's like caramel gushing out of that onion. What I have to try next is the salad made from frike, frike which is the, the green wheat 
roasted green wheat. I have, well. I have a back label that I stick uh, mm. before selling it. Stick on. Oh bottom. wow! That green wheat it has this like like pop to it, like the the beetroot. You get a silky beetroot. Some of the herbs in there, and that texture, like they're all individual, but then they all kind of like pop and crunch in your mouth. This is the baba ganoush, which is the roasted eggplant aubergine, uh, then made into a paste. Oh. oh yeah, like it's so creamy, it's almost foamy. The roasted flavor, the lemon, the garlic. Yeah, that's just unbelievably tasty. The tomato topped with hazelnuts, sumac. Yeah. Do you remember the herb in there? Is it basil. mint basil. or peppermint? Oh, basil. Mm. It's basil, wow. okay. And yeah, yeah, definitely uh, some olive oil as well. Sturo. You have the Andy Kazama has the tap in there. They're good at it. Oh, wow. Mm. That's just so pure. It's like all the flavors you need on top of a tomato. Oh, the yogurt. Like yogurt. Okay. Gonna put it here and you're gonna do it this way. Oh, yes. So that is cantaloupe with what is the cheese? This is goat labne. Goat labne. Labne is fresh. Uh, fresh cheese. So we took some of the melon, put some of the the goat labane, and then Camel actually add some of the some of the goat cheese I went on it. Rogue. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Like, we're we're going diving with in the goat labane. We're cheers. gonna dive dive in. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> guys. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that works. That's good. Oh. Uh, signature. Okay. I feel that she's like overwhelmed with life. <laughs> Amazing place, Maher and his wife Crystal. I, I like. I mean, the the wine is spectacular. The food was spectacular. Just local driven produce is what took that food to the next level. The setting, but really, this is another story of their passion, their love. They put their lives into that entire project. Uh, it has so much meaning to them, and you can feel that with every sip of wine, with every bite of food. So she's the only one who still does it in Lebanon? Yeah. We drove just down the road a little ways to a lady who specializes, who's one of the few ladies in Lebanon who still makes terracotta, the pots, the traditional pots, by hand. So she's gonna show us some of her pots and then make one of the pots. And that's the same pot that we ate the eggs and awarma with just a few hours ago. ايه في بني عندي اربع بنات اثنين بيعملوا معي وفي كنت يعني she has 50 years of experience making pottery and just how fast like in about oh my god in about 1 minute she formed it's actually a perfect perfect bowl like if you cut that in half the symmetry it's perfect symmetry Just seeing her work with her hands, that was amazing. And now we are on our way back down the mountain, down to the coast. And we're stopping first at a place that specializes in, I think, fish sandwiches. Calamari cooked with a squid ink. That's very local, very nice. Octopus, grilled fish. And he said he has a special hot sauce, so that's, that's for you. Yes. And uh, shrimps. We're like eight people or so, so we just decided to get a bunch of big mix of all the different types of sandwiches that they have, especially the local seafood that they use. Uh, that looks great. That's uh, That is pickled. Is it on the With in squid ink. Simple. Just a little. 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 Just a things that they do here that makes them special is at the end, once they're wrapped up, they add on some garlic paste and some herb sauce and then toast them over the fire to give it that final touch while they smell great. That's octopus. That's sardine. sardine. Okay, I'm going sardine. Where's the grilled fish? The, only thing the one uh, 
On top? Like the horizontal one, yeah. Also, I'm gonna quickly grab one of the black squid ink ones because this is also a local specialty dish. I'm gonna try the sardine first because that's like the most classic for this. I'm attacking the octopus. <laughs> the octopus? Yeah. Okay, I can't wait. Sardine? What? Well, sardine? I, I will wait for Mark first. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mm. The saltiness. Mm -hmm. Wow. No. That's um, finished. It's, it's not, no, I don't feel it's fishy at all. No. no. It's perfect. You know, the yeah. charred finish on the bread yeah. is yeah. just that perfect. The garlic and chili. Because of that texture, because of the crispiness, because of the saltiness. Yes. Oh, and the seaweed is in the sardine as well. This type of seaweed that is from here locally as well. But first, I'm going to start try the sardine with uh, some more chili. And this is some of the seaweed, the local seaweed that you put with sardines. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that seaweed is amazing. Look, I think it's pickled because it's really sour. But it has this amazing crisp texture. It's not even slimy at all. That's, that's wonderful. It reminds me kind of of grape leaves in taste. Okay, next up, the black, the squid with the ink. And I think this would go really well with some of the garlic sauce. I tasted that garlic, that strong garlic. Um, the squid is really tender and has a very nice sour lemon taste to it. And this one needs some chili. The octopus is good because it's tender. You taste that olive oil, the coriander, the lemon juice in there. On our way to this restaurant that serves seafood, they're gonna make us a huge seafood meal, Lebanese seafood meal. Uh, but then, on top of that, I know it's a brewery and it's also right along the ocean, right along the sea, so we're gonna have a chance to swim as we eat. They brew their own beer. They have both a dining room on the inside, not on the inside, open air, but then they also have a beachside called the Reef, a beachside uh, restaurant where you can sit down, where you can swim as well. So we only have three kinds today. Oh, okay, that's okay. Usually we have more. So the unfiltered is just the normal yeah. the lager. Go straight into the IPA. Mm. Citrusy, kind of, I almost taste a cinnamon flavor when I when I take that first sip. But we continue down this kind of wooden plank way uh, where it is the beachside bar restaurant where they serve Lebanese food, Lebanese seafood. We arrived to the end of the walkway and immediately greeting you is a cabinet full of seafood, especially fish. Uh, some other bigger fish, but one of the fish I know that they specialize in here is lionfish. It's kind of a rocky, yeah it is a rocky beach with a, they have some tables, they have a table set out in the water actually for us to eat. Wow. So we'll be eating, we'll, our feet will be in the water, and actually like right now it's just the perfect time, the perfect lighting, the sun is, it's, uh, the sun is coming down, it's gonna be sunset, the lighting is perfect right now. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> one of the, I'm gonna try one of the shrimp. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh that's amazing, the olive oil. The lemon zesty freshness of that, the coriander, the herbaceousness of that. Yep. Can never get enough tabule. This is the lionfish. Oh, awesome. Thank you. German Shepherd. Swim on over. Irish Shepherd. Oh, lionfish tastes 
quite similar to grouper anyways, um, but it's an invasive, invasive species in the Mediterranean. We're helping the Mediterranean and the other fish by eating lionfish. Lionfish actually eat fish eggs, so they kind of kill off other populations of fish. Um, and this is one of the first places in Lebanon to serve lionfish, to promote eating lionfish. This is some of the squid that just came. Mm. This, is the, this is the grilled grouper with, I think that's a tahini sauce. Oh yeah. The fish is from today. Fresh, always caught fresh, served fresh. Yeah, from today. Look, for me there's almost nothing better than fresh fish. Like the pureness, yeah, fish is amazing. amazing day. I want to say a big thank you to USAID for funding my trip to Lebanon for uh, arranging many things and setting things up. So big thank you. And yeah, I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. We're going to be traveling all around Lebanon like learning about the people, learning about the food, experiencing the food. And so I'll have all those videos in a playlist that you can check out. Again, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.